How's it going, people? Jeff here from Ecom Geeks. Today, we're going to be doing something a, a little bit different. We're actually going to be talking about five different apps that allow you to turn your store into a mobile app. So that means that we're actually going to be taking your store and making it into an app that somebody can download via their, you know, their iPhone or their Android through the, you know, Apple Apple App Store or through Google Play. Uh, download it, be able to utilize it, be able to purchase things through it to receive notifications from your store. Now, I mean, all this sounds great, but why is it so necessary? Basically, in today's world, 70 to 80 percent of online shopping happens through people's phones and not through their desktop computers. So if you can get them to download an app that is going to send them notifications, that is going to be on their phone just waiting there, if you have a rewards and loyalty program that goes along with that mobile app, things can, can really start to get moving. So without further ado, let's take a look at the different options, different pricing, and how much effort it would take to actually get one of these things up and running. Without further ado, let's get started. So we're actually going to go through these apps in order of least to most expensive. So the first one we're going to talk about here is Automizely, uh, which is a mobile app builder. Uh, it's, it's free. Uh, which, I mean, you can't say no to the price. That being said, from what I've been able to determine from going through, you know, the, the different aspects of it, it seems like there is a lot of hands-on on work with it. Uh, it's, not, it's not as much of a one-click setup as they'd like to, to make it appear. Also, your, your store's app isn't actually an individual app that somebody would be able to download. Uh, you know, from, from the app store of their respective mobile device. Um, instead, it's a single app that allows people to use like a QR code uh, to go to your store and, and have your store connected to the customer through their app, through uh, uh, Automizely's, Automizely's app. Uh, so just, just be wary of that, you know, you get what you pay for. Uh, so just be conscious of that. Um, there is a little bit of um, issues in terms of people trying to remove the app. So if you don't like it, people are saying they're having issues actually removing it from their store. So uh, just keep an eye on it. Uh, give these guys a bit of, bit of time to kind of uh, review and, and bring things up to date. I mean, like I said, it's hard to argue with the price, but at the same time, if it's going to be uh, beyond your capabilities and just outside your area of expertise, then let's go on to the next one that's a little bit more user friendly. The next app builder we have here is called Mage Native and it's by said commerce here. And uh, this one is actually pretty decent. Um, this guy is a starts from $29 a month, uh, 30 day free trial. And uh, I was actually pretty impressed with it. Uh, I actually went to our, our store and I started to actually work on making a, a custom uh, app there. And it's actually pretty cool because a lot of it is, is drag and drop, um, you know, so I can just add another category in there and then I can edit it and go into it and customize like everything about it um, and where things go and et cetera, et cetera. So I found it very, very user friendly, especially for um, you know, people who aren't necessarily like crazy, super computer savvy, um, I think it would be a great app to, to take a look at, to, to go with and have a start. Taking a look at their pricing here, uh, it's, uh, you know, starts at $29, goes up to 49 and then 69. Uh, it's, uh, there are limitations. Uh, it's, uh, you'd, you'd want at least the middle plan because, uh, with the first plan, it's, either or in terms of Android uh, versus Apple, and you definitely want to have both. So you'd need at least the $49 plan. Um, you know, it's going to have a lot of the uh, the extra things on it. The free themes are fine because you can actually make a, a custom theme, um, at, at least in my opinion, maybe I'm horribly incorrect. Um, you know, some blocks with different repetitions. I mean, a lot of this is specific to the app. So it's never, it's never a bad idea to, you know, give an app a try if you think it has what it needs to, to help you out. Um, like I said, this has a 30 day free trial, give it a shot if you think it's the app for you. And uh, if it's not, make sure to remove it. So next up here, we have the mobile app builder by Jcurve. And this is going up to our next price point, which is $49.99 a month. Uh, it also has a 30 day free trial like the previous one. Uh, it's, uh, it's much more realistic in it, its claims. 
So, you know, launch a mobile app in one week, um, that seems pretty legitimate. Um, it's, uh, you know, it boasts the other things that uh, a number of these other apps uh, boast as well. Um, and uh, it has pretty competitive pricing. Uh, it's kind of similar to what we were seeing before uh, in that, you know, it's one or the other with the lower part. The middle one, it's both. So you're definitely going to need the $89 plan. So it is going to be more expensive. Um, there's, uh, there's some other things that can be integrated, you know, for example, like judge me and, uh, other things that you could integrate pretty well with the higher level plan. Um, for example, even just having it connected to, uh, something like the, you know, judge me or Langify. I mean, judge me is really great because it allows customers to put reviews, um, directly, directly on your site, which is great customer reviews both positive and negative are super useful. When I am a uh, on the customer side of things, I I want to know, sure, I want to know about the the good replies and what, what is good, but more importantly, I also want to know about the bad reviews and what is not so good about Samling. So to have your, your store on a mobile app and connected to you know these sorts of, of tools, it allows people to very, very easily uh, you know, take an image with their phone, you know, it's already on their phone, so they can, you know, do that in a review super duper quick. Customers are actually much more likely to leave a review via their phone because it's easier, faster, and people have more disposable time uh than than if they were just on their, their desktop. So uh, it can be another way of, of getting uh, different uh, different reviews from different people. So keep that in mind as well. Our next mobile app builder is Vajaro. Uh, I believe it's Vajaro. Um, and uh, it's, it's the next price point up. Uh, if we go down to the different prices here, um, you can see that just the, the basic plan this time at least has both, you know, iOS and uh, Android, which is fantastic and you know definitely like I said you definitely need both in order to make it work now uh, this one is also nice because it's, it's very similar to the one I was showing you previously uh, in terms of you know dragging and dropping things um, just very straightforward and obvious uh, ability to change your colors your your text what the different sections do etc etc so it gives you a lot of control over things uh, it lays things out very well for you and uh, it, it allows you to make something that, that really is yours without being a huge pain in the butt in terms of having to know coding or, or something like that. You know, there's, there's really a lot of things that, that you can do with this one or with any of them really. So uh, just do keep a, an eye on the price. Like I said, these guys start to incre increase in price pretty quickly. Um, at the end of the day though, you want something, you want an app that's actually appealing to customers. So if you're going to be putting time, effort, and money into this, you want to make sure that it is an app that people are actually going to download and use. So definitely make sure that it is of high enough quality based on your price point and based on your skills that uh, it'll actually be useful to your business and help you grow. The last mobile app builder we're going to take a look at today is called Tapcart. And uh, this is the most expensive out of all of them. Uh, we can go to the uh, the pricing here. So the basic one is 250. Uh, they don't even mention that it, you know one or the other in terms of Android or iPhone because I'm assuming it does both. Um, the uh, the biggest difference between the different things here is uh, different blocks. Um, so I don't I haven't played around with these guys too much. So I don't know how much a limitation of you know 15 blocks versus uh, you know, 20 blocks. I don't know how much of a difference that is. Uh, if you have more information about that, I'd love for you to put that in the comments down below. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, you know, if, if you're going to go up in price on this app, 250 to 550 to 1200, you know, definitely, uh, definitely not cheap there. Um, you might want to take a look at some of the others, uh, you know, before you decide to go this far. Uh, it also depends at what stage of your business you're at. Now, so looking at this one, I haven't been able to have the opportunity to, to fully test it out uh, in terms of its, uh, its user friendliness, in terms of being able to, to make it more customizable. Uh, I wish that they'd been able to provide a little bit more information and uh, so I could have played around with it a little bit more. But, uh, you know, obviously it is well recognized and, uh, you know, this, these guys have been around for, for a while now. So 
I mean, definitely give them a shot as well. There is a seven day free trial. If you want to give it a go, just do keep in mind the price point because this thing ain't cheap. So there you go. Those are our top five suggested mobile app builders for Shopify. I really hope that helps and catch you guys next time. If you liked this video and would like us to create further content, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help us out. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.